Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and you know me for a lot of integration with UAPAT. You have the connector for Salesforce, ServiceNow, Jira, Confluence and so on. Today we'll talk about Jira, yeah? So on Jira we have different videos. I have here seven, eight videos and show you how to work with, uh, with Jira. I have a connector for Jira and so on. I have some videos where I show you how to uh, um, to send REST API commands, yeah? So how to do the, to send REST API commands without a custom activity. For the authentication, you have here two videos where um, you see how it's uh, configured when it's on-prem and when it's on, uh, on cloud and how you get the API and how you do an auto-authentication, all this stuff. The target today is to how we upload a file to a Jira ticket without having um, a custom activity, yeah? So let's see how we do this. Uh, I will make an, uh, a small stop to be able to change the resolution of the PC. I'm back with a different resolution and um, uh, you can see here if you search on the internet how to do this. It's, it's similar, it's the same stuff that you do on the Confluence and so on because it's same Atlassian system. So you need to use the user and password or if it's the token, if, uh, the token from the, the server, yeah, you have to put a header, which is Atlassian token non-check. And then you need to put the file and then you will do a uh, 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 post here, yeah? So let's do this from UAPAT. So if I go to uh, uh, UAPAT Studio, first I need to be sure that I have web activity, yeah? So I will go here to uh, all packages and we have web activity. Yeah. So UAPAT web activity is to be able to have the HTTP request. Yeah. After I have this uh, UAPAT web activities, um, I will do an HTTP request. Yeah. And on the HTTP request, I will put my user and password there. Then I will select that it's a post. Then here I will put um, the link. So you can see it's HTTP Atlassian UAPAT.com. It's my, my, my uh, instance. You put your instance there. REST API. Here you put latest because uh, um, uh, it's the best way to do it like this. To not be dependent on the what version of, uh, of Jira um, system you have. Yeah. So issue, you give the value of the issue and then you say attachments, yeah? So for my point of view, I have this issue, yeah? And you see the, uh, the ID of the issue. Uh, and here I don't have an, um, um, an attachment. And you will see that I add an, add an attachment, yeah? So that's the end point. Uh, that's the end point, I have post. And now I have to provide here on the headers I will provide this X Atlassian token to be non-check, yeah, as a string. And on the attachments, I need to provide the file. So I write file, and here I have an, uh, uh, the address of the file, yeah? In my case, it's a picture with the new logo of Gmail, okay? So that's all, I do this HTTP request and the system will be able to upload the file to Jira. So if I run it, System goes to the background and I'll, I'll load my file to Jira. We will see now if I go to, uh, to this one and send a refresh. You see here that I have a file and I have a preview of the file, which is an image from the, um, um, you see, it's an image from the new logo of Gmail, okay? So this is the way how you do an attachment to Jira without any components and without any activities, you are totally independent. Put your user and password or your user and token, go to this endpoint, uh, put the correct headers and select the attachment and on the attachment put, like I showed you, file and the link, the, 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 the path of the file, okay? So as usual, thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to, uh, to follow me on the YouTube and subscribe to my channel and stay safe.
Have a good one. Bye-bye.